What? I have a chic little suit on. I have a chic little suit. Yes, like he does, I like it right? too. It's got a little bit of. I think it's got a little bit of mohair in it or something. Yeah, a little, a little stiffening. Mohair. A little stiffening. Exactly. It gives me the illusion of a physique. I really like it. You're 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 yes. you're, you're um, kind of getting your act together right these days. You're you're sartorial. Fashion act wise, together. fashion yes. wise. Well, that's because of Antonio mm -hmm. Zareas, who was my dresser. She's fantastic. Well, yeah. you're looking very good. Thank you. So are you. I you am. Look, Thank yes, you. Yes, you look lovely. You look lovely. This was clean. This what? was actually the only actually thing clean? that was clean. That's nice. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It could also be a chef's jacket at a very, well, very elite, like, uh, uh, sushi restaurant. Or, uh, like an s and dungeon or something like that. <laughs> Again, it's St. Patrick's and the night is still <laughs> oh, right. young. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, well, sorry. Now, obviously, we... people know you from your fashion design and also your popularization of fashion through things like mm -hmm. Target and QVC. This is right. This and, is true. And, uh, Project Runway All-Stars, which mm -hmm. you're on. And you now have a, a show at the Jewish Museum here in New York, uh, Isaac Mizrahi, An Unruly History. Right. Okay, starting uh, tomorrow That's right. through August 7th. I want to look at some of your designs because I just, okay. I love, I would describe your clothing as not only beautiful, but it can also be fun. I really like this right here. This is elevator pad gown. Right. All of this down here is just made for, like from sound blankets and elevator Well, pads. except that it's made in like couture fabrics with like the most beautiful lambs wool in the entire world. Really? Exactly. Just so it would be expensive? Yeah. Why? Because it well, looks like Well, because elevator. it weighs nothing. No, it's it light nothing? and beautiful oh. and it feels amazing when you put it on. I love this one too. This one is so useful. It's the uh, Baby Bjorn ball gown. <laughs> That is good. Like, you just had a baby and you don't want to miss a party, right? Oh, what do you do? Yeah, you got to go. When and the baby doesn't want to miss the party either. Well, no. Can we tell, can I tell you when we showed that on the runway, that was Giselle Bunchen wearing that dress. Yes. And we didn't want the baby to have any problems, so we gave it earplugs because it was really loud, like sure, runway sure, sure. music, yeah, you know? Yeah. So no babies were harmed in the making or showing of that. I like this one, too. This was... A totem pole gown, fall right. of 1991. That's fantastic. It's beautiful, that right? Is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And now you've, you've also engaged, you've also dressed the First Lady. This is from the first State of the Union speech. Yeah, right Michelle Obama. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. She's so chic, right? We're going to so miss chic. her. We're going to miss her. We really are. We really are. We are. Though, let's, let's talk about, let's talk about, can you help me out? Because sure. you, you understand, you judge fashion. You don't just create yeah. fashion. Who wore it better? Can you tell me who wore oh, this better? Well, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot. A little bit, yeah. I'm going to say one thing. Hillary has some good hair, finally, after she all has. these years. And, you know, Bernie is coming away from the men's warehouse thing, slowly. <laughs> We're mm -hmm. sort of talking him off the men's warehouse ledge mm -hmm. a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. A little tailoring yep. of her. Well, here's, here's Hillary wearing uh, leather. This is a leather outfit, right? Yes, here. it is. I what think, is that saying? I think she's courting a younger person to vote for her. That's mm -hmm. what I think from that picture, mm -hmm. right? That's like, please vote for me, young girls. <laughs> That's okay. what that says. Okay. All right. Now, that's what that says in fashion terms. <laughs> what does this say? <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, I like that because it makes me feel thin when I see that. <laughs> oh, I did. I said it. You did it. You did it. You're bad. Mm -hmm. So, were you born a designer? Is it a natural thing? Or did you were always thinking about design and fashion? I was always making clothes and kind of sewing. I don't know how that started, but I was always doing it. Did your yes. family encourage it? And you grew up in a fairly conservative Jewish family. And yet, you know, the, the Jews kind of run the garment business in New York. They do. You know. should know that. Absolutely not. I refuse to ever say the sentence, the Jews run blank. Oh, I will not. Well, you know what? I'm I'll not anywhere in that sentence, my friend. Actually, Jean-Baptiste has some cute clothes on. Oh, doesn't he? Oh, look. Look at that. The guy knows how to. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think they call those kicks, darling. I like your kicks, jean -Baptiste. Oh, yeah. How do you right. feel about the hats, people wearing hats more than Well, you to. know what? I have to say, on you it works, darling, but uh -huh. I, am, I don't like hats anymore. I'm sort of feeling that they're going away. They're over. Hats, and for men anyway, mm -hmm. facial hair, I'm sort of over. Mm -hmm. Buns, I'm over. Man buns? Man buns, I don't like How do you feel? Buns. I've heard you have an opinion. What's your opinion? You have some opinion about Spanx. Well, and wait, can I go back for a minute? The other sure. thing I hate is when men shave their bodies in artistic ways. I hate that. that wait, I'll go back. Wait a second. In artistic ways? You know, like, like manscaping. <laughs> like, 
putting Munch's the scream on their chest? What is? It's called it's called man. I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah but like artistic ways, like curly cues. Or well, what do you, mean? you know, they sort of get rid of hair there and sort of add here there. I don't know about there. that. No. Yeah, I don't know about and that. all the tattoos and piercings and stuff. That's so tired, isn't it? Yes. I think it's tired. Yes. Plus, you can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery if you have tattoos. Right. No and Jewish cemetery. No, Sorry. because we know the Jews run the Jewish cemetery. They run the Jewish cemetery. Exactly. They absolutely that do. Was good one. I set you That's, up for that. Totally, totally. Uh, okay. Uh, well, an unruly history opens at the Jewish Museum tomorrow. The man is Isaac Mizrahi, everybody. We'll be right back.